Namaste. You may try this following breathing techniques with me. All right. The tip of the tongue curls forward like a tube and inspire your breath through the pursed lips. Closing, exhale through the nose. Let's do that one more time. You know, Purse in the lips, forming a tube through the tongue tip. And exhale. All right, so next technique. Uh, open the teeth, yeah, like you're forming a gentle smile, and the tongue rests just behind the teeth, yeah, right in the middle of the mouth. And inspire your breath through the gaps of your teeth and the sides of your mouth. And exhale through the nose. All right. Last, yeah, place the tip of the tongue towards uh, the back of the bottom teeth where the gums start, yeah? And inspire through yeah, the sides of the mouth and then lightly energize your neck muscles. Do that one more time. Good. Feel the differences? Yeah. The first technique where we curl the tip of the tongue forward, forming a tube, is the Sitali Pranayama. Yeah, it's the cooling breath, and it affects distinctively the chest region and the upper part of the abdomen cavity, yeah, the Sitali Pranayama. The second one, yeah, the lips open, and then allow the air to pass through the gaps of the teeth and the sides of the mouth. It's called the shitkari, or the hissing breath. And predominantly, it affects yeah, the upper part of the chest, the neck, and the brain. And you form this hissing sound. The last one is actually quite special. It's interesting. It's called the plavini pranayama. Yeah, or the gulping breath, or the floating breath. Because if you do that technique with the tongue towards the bottom of the teeth and lightly sealing that part and inspiring <laughs> through the sides of the teeth and then to the center of the mouth, yeah, it's like you are uh, mimicking the, the neck of the cobra. Where well, you feel the sensation, it's distinctive, right? It goes to the inner linings of the abdomen cavity. Yeah. The abdomen and the lower part of the belly, where the sacral or region is located, the Sardishthana chakra. So the Plavini Pranayama uh, energizes actually the uh, Sardishthana chakra yeah, and the bottom part of the abdomen cavity. The Shadishthana chakra is associated with the element of water. Therefore, yeah, creates this light uh, floating sensation, yeah, similar to the characteristics of the water, fluid and flowing. Therefore, it's also uh, called as the floating breath. You can feel it here, right? It goes there and then down the inner linings and towards the generative organs. The Plavini Pranayama could be practiced through breathing through the mouth, yeah, such as uh, what we practice, or once you gain familiarity with the inner sensations, you can also do that through the nose. And then the tatang, yeah, goes down the bottom part of the mouth. Actually, it's the tongue <laughs> directing yeah, the flow of the breath. Yeah, by moving the tongue distinctively inside the mouth, we can yeah, channel the breath to different pockets inside the body. The tongue is, uh, I say, a profound, yeah, powerful anatomical tool for channelizing the energy. Therefore, the tongue is quite involved in the practice of mudras or energy channeling techniques. Yeah. If you place a tongue against the heart palate and inspire through the nose, and you're going to feel that gentle um, activation and the suction there. It's called the nabho mudra. And with the tongue, when it goes behind the uvula, 
And you breathe you know, through it, it's called the Kacheri Mudra. Yeah, so the tongue, the mouth in general, towards the latter uh, stages of the practice, they become too involved in channeling high energies. I'll see you next time.